I was uh, wondering if you could start off by introducing yourself and your role within your organization. Uh, my name is Ernest Kosiche. Uh, I'm a co-founder and operations director for Toyola Energy Limited. Great. And what, what does Toyola do? Could you explain your business model? Uh, Toyola is uh, involved uh, in the manufacture and dissemination of energy efficient coastals and also uh, sale and installation maintenance of solar uh, lighting equipment. Right, and how um, widespread is your organization within Ghana? How many people does it serve? And uh, now, uh, our company covers the whole 10 regions of Ghana. Okay. Yes, uh, within the last uh, six months, we have had to add four of the regions which were not covered. So we now cover all the regions of Ghana. Um, Great, yeah, that's fine. And what are some of the challenges your business is facing as you attempt to grow? And how do you plan to overcome these challenges? Uh, the main challenge is uh, with uh, financing. Mm -hmm. uh, financing is a problem because uh, uh, in our particular situ uh, situation, when we were forced to grow because the demand was there, people needed to accept. And sometimes people sent delegations to us. Mm -hmm. And we saw that uh, there was no way to hold back. So we had to grow. Of course, thinly, mm -hmm. yes, and uh, uh, it becomes a bit difficult to sustain it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, financial support by way of probably long term loan yeah. and a uh, few grants, no problem. But mm -hmm. we do not want to base everything on grants per se. Of course. Yes. And what are the other constraints that we face? Uh, basically, it boils down to same finance because uh, once you have strong financial base, uh, you can uh, accelerate your training of people, you can attract more people to come and work for you. Yes, uh, but when you are not sound financially, people do not want to work for you. Right. So yeah, that is the major thing. Right. And what does the future look like for Toyota? What is your five to ten year plan? Uh, I will tell you, since you asked me about some of the challenges, I will tell you about the opportunity there. Sure. Yes, because uh, for the cook stoves alone, uh, I'll give you just a little history. When we formalized the company and we set up the first year to make and sell 6,000 stoves, we ended up selling about 20,000. Mm -hmm. And last year, we, uh, that is the second year, we sold another 30,000. So making 50. This year our target was to sell 40 to 50. Uh, as of now, we haven't achieved it, but I believe we will be close. Yes, and now the opportunity is there. Uh, we have uh, 4 million households in Ghana alone. And out of the 4 million households, at least 45% to 47% use uh, this energy efficient or inefficient charcoal stove, mm -hmm. which have to be replaced. Right. Yes, which have to be replaced. Right. So the opportunity is there. Mm -hmm. Our plan is to do uh, 60,000 a month for next year. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Right. A month. A month, right. Sorry. Sorry. No, that's okay. Mm. 60,000 uh, for next year. Okay. Uh, scale it up to 100,000 within the next two years. Okay. And from the third year onwards, we hope to go to 300,000 per annum. Oh, okay. And since the life cycle of the stove is three years, it means that we will still, the opportunities will continue to be there. Right. So the opportunity is there. And then talking about uh, the solar, about 40% of uh, Ghana 
is un unelectrified mm -hmm. from the national grid. And most of these people live in areas which are difficult to reach. Right. And it's a uh, tutorless model that makes it very easy to reach them. Sure. And so I believe that for the next two, three, or five years, mm -hmm. uh, Toyola should be able to sell about 25,000 solar uh, lanterns and maybe 5,000 to 7,000 of small home systems so that at least people can have a basic education in the rural areas, more generation, and be abreast of what is going on. And uh, finally, how can policymakers, donors, and others support you in your work? Um, the support can be in many ways. Uh, the worst situation is uh, normally you borrow and pay mm -hmm. under long term uh, conditions uh, with probably no or low interest rate. Mm -hmm. Then there can also be uh, grants uh, for scaling up, you know, supporting us to set up uh, facilities so that uh, we can borrow money uh, to do the operations. Sure. Yes. And uh, also for education, training of people, sure. sensitization, yes. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for your time today. We're excited to have you here. Thank you.